So in our last video, we got our blog up and running and it is looking fantastic. But our templates are a mess. So today, we're gonna take a walk through Expression Engine's layout group so that we can keep our templates nice and dry. Don't repeat yourself. Great principle of programming we wanna implement here. So that our same header can be on all of our pages, same footer, all of our pages. We can adjust our HTML titles, we can make it all nice and happy. So with that said, let's build. So I've mentioned it a few times, the word dry. Dry in programming terms means don't repeat yourself. It's a great thing to keep in mind, especially as we're building out these templates. So for example, last time we have our index page, which has all of this HTML content that goes in our head right here. We also have our blog page, which has basically the same thing, and our entries page, which has basically the same thing. So if we need to make a change somewhere, then we're making that change in multiple places, which means more than likely one of them will get left behind. It also makes life way harder for you. So we are going to make use of two things in order to um, make our templates nice and dry. And the first is layouts. So Expression Engine has this great logic behind it called template layouts. Template layouts basically give you a holder for all of the content that goes throughout your site. So you're able to continually say, I want to build this content, but in this layout. And that way we can say, well, this layout will always have A, B, and C, and X, Y, and Z, and we just have to fill in the middle there. So uh, the docs are a great place to start with this. We're going to actually set up our, our layout in our templates, and so let's give it a try. So the very first thing we wanna do here is we'll make a new group in our templates. We'll just call it layouts.group. And we'll create a template file in here and we'll call this main.html. So right now, plain and simple, but the magic comes when we go into our template. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move over some of the content here. I'm actually gonna move this uh, channel entries tag way on down to where we need it. So let's say right here. So our templates will be a little bit ugly for a little bit, but we're gonna begin our layout by bullying out the things we know are gonna be repeated on every page. We're always gonna have a nav, we're always gonna have a footer. We're always gonna have that HTML header content. So out of our default template, I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of the stuff outside of our channel entries loop. There's our nav. And so let me actually draw myself a nice, we're gonna set this to expression engine. And this is where the content will go, just so I know where to look for it in a second. And we'll go, we have our blog loop, and here starts our footer. So let's wrap up all of this code. Cut that out. And we'll go here. This is where the content ends. And we'll paste that all in. And again, like I said, indenting's way off for right now. Not terribly pretty but that's okay, we'll fix that in a second. All right, so now I've pulled out everything except the content. Let's actually take a look at our, our page. Oh, look at it, so gross. <laughs> so, but that's because all we have is content. All we've got is meat, we need the bread and the sandwiches. So, let's do this. In order to set up a layout that we're gonna use, we're gonna grab this tag here, and pull this in here. And so we're gonna say layout equals our template group, which we called layouts slash template. And so the template we wanna use is main dot H, uh, just main, excuse me. And so initially that will pull in all of the initial data that we've got, but right now we have kind of the opposite problem. We have our nav, we have our footer, we have nothing else. Um, and that's because we need to set up our layout a little bit better. The crucial tag comes with layout contents. And that's where the 
If you consider the header and the footer like the bread of the sandwich, this is where the meat will go. And so I add that in here, right between our two comment tags. And we've got our page back with all of our content. And so now that may seem like a silly step, but when I come back into our blog group, and let's say I want to get rid of everything up to our blog, and I want to get rid of, I believe this is the footer, right? Yeah, let's get rid of it. All gone, all gone. And then we're going to say our layout's main here. Okay, so we've added our layout to our blog listing page and pulled out most of the data. Oh, we need to get rid of this very last footer and all this. And let's take a look at our page and nice and pretty. Good. And then the last page we need to do this on is our blog page. So let's take a look at our templates again. And that's our blog listing page. Let's go and get rid of everything. That's our blog page. There we go. All right, so I'm going to grab all this too because I just did a little bit of styling on this. So div relative gray on our entry page. There we go. Nope. And we'll grab that here. Perfect. There we go. All right, let's get that here. And uh, we'll pull out their image. Now we'll need to add back in our featured image and our title, but that's not going to be a problem. Do that right here. Title, get rid of that. And our featured image. Featured image. All right, and let's take out the footer as well and all of the closing HTML code. There we go, we've got our kitty cat back, we've got our blog post, all looking good. Now the other cool thing that we can do with layouts here, uh, since we're going to be making use of, of the channel entry loops here to kind of define some of the data and the metadata for the page, is we can actually use layout variables. So let's take a look again at our main layout group here. So we have our title hard coded, but what we'll do here is we're going to say, let's use layout title. And all we're saying to do here is to create a variable called layout title. If it, if it finds it, we're gonna throw it here. And then what we can actually do is wrap this in a conditional. So we'll say if layout title, then we'll use layout title. If else, then we'll say welcome to our site. And that way too, we don't need to set it, but if we do, we can. So if we go into our blog entry page and let's go inside of our channel entries loop and we're gonna set that title variable here. So we're gonna say layout colon set and we're gonna say the name of our variable is title. And before we add the actual data, we'll close that out. So we'll close our layout set. And then all we're going to do there is just use the title that's coming in from the channel entries loop. So that's actually our blog here. I'll set the highlighting so you can see a little bit better. And so when I go back, I'm gonna save that and I go back to our blog page. Now you can see up here, our HTML is set to the actual title of the blog. And you can do that with all sorts of variables and all sorts of pieces of content that you're using in there. Um, if you're setting like SEO data, um, we can add you know, a layout item if there's specific styles or scripts you need on a page that you can do that as well. So that is layout groups. Now let's do one more thing to make our templates nice and clean. This is our, our main template, as you can see, it is very, 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 very long. So 
So, which is not necessarily problematic, but let's say for example that we want to make everything nice and easy. We want to uh, move this navigation out into its own piece. So we are going to make use of partials. So if I go over to our template group here and in our default site folder, I'm going to create a new folder and call it partials. I'm sorry, underscore partials. And in there are files that will be assigned to specific variables that when they're called in the template, it'll just render whatever's in the partial. So if I call this one, nav, uh, yeah, we'll call it topnav.html. And then in our main folder here, or our main layout, I'm going to pull out everything before the layout contents. Cut that out. I'm going to paste that here. Now, when we take a look at our homepage, oops, let me save that too. <laughs> there we go. Our nav disappears. Everything gets a little wonky, but that's okay. In order to call our partial, we are just going to call it top nav, since that was the name of the file that we named in our partial. And then I refresh, and our navigation is back. And so if we do the same thing for a footer, so in our partials folder, I'm just going to create a new file. I'm just going to call it footer.html. And let us get everything else outside of the body tags. And let's, uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then just for my sanity, I'm going to indent this so it looks nice and pretty. And then we're going to do footer here. Actually, let's see it without the footer first. So scroll down. We've got bottomless page. Add the footer into our template partial or into our layout. And there we go. So now our main layout looks like this. We have all of our top content in a partial. We have the contents of the actual body that are being pulled in through each of the templates uh, as they're being called. And we're setting some of that data in layout variables like this layout title up here. And then we have our footer saved into a template partial. So now we can start building out some really fun templates and some really fun pieces of content knowing that we can just throw it all into our page here and it'll all be nice and uniform. So in our next video, we're going to take a look at one of the most important security practices you can do in your EE site before we continue building. So we'll see you in the next one.